bookish travel in Las Vegas. It is possible and I'm here to show you. Hi, I'm Becky. Welcome to my channel. I talk about all things books and beads because I love to read and I love making crafts and jewelry. And today I'm taking you along with me on my trip to Las Vegas where I found some great bookstores, had dinner in a bookish restaurant, and had a lot of other fun that just made the book girl in me happy. So I hope you'll come along with me it was a great time and maybe it will give you some inspiration for your next trip let's go welcome to vegas my friends and i stayed at the resorts world this is way down on the strat end of the strip it's actually really beautiful inside here's a look at the lobby we were in the conrad tower so pretty lots of beautiful art here's a cool little beaded rhinestone glitzed out elephant that we saw in one of the lobbies our first night we checked out the Ale Lounge on 66. It has beautiful views of the valley and the strip. It was absolutely breathtaking. This is another view from one of the suites at Resorts World. We hit up a little party there and we did some gambling. Then we had dinner at Brezza. I got the bolognese and then we got the deconstructed tiramisu for dessert. It looks like a little coffee bean. It was absolutely delicious. The next morning, we headed across the street to Pepper Mill for breakfast. This place had such a cool, old-timey Las Vegas lounge feel. I got the eggs benedict, huge portions here. Then I took a little walk, walked past the waterfall at the wind. This always feels like a fairy tale spot and it's so relaxing and beautiful. And I ended up at the Palazzo. I was in search of Bowman Rare Books. So this store is in the Palazzo, but it's close to the edge of the Venetian Canal shops. So I did check out the gondolas while I was there. It's always, I just love the theming in here. I love that it looks like you're outside. I love the gondolas and the water. It's just really nice. Okay, back to the books. This is Bowman Rare Books and this store was an absolute treat. Right off the bat, you know you're in for something special when you just take a look at the books that are outside in the front cases. These are all rare, special editions, signed editions, expensive editions of books. Definitely pause to read on some of these. There were all kinds of beautiful books in this store and they were so fun to look at. This is a signed first edition Dr. Seuss. This is a first edition of the textbook Harry Potter books. Hemingway, Kurt Vonnegut, so many recognizable authors and books. And this is the front bookshelf when you walk right in. It's so pretty and the cases are filled with even more treasures. There were some golf books that I thought my husband would appreciate. There were some really cool travel books. I just loved all of these signed letters from Charles Darwin. There was a signed letter from Albert Einstein as well. Really, really incredible pieces. I thought this set was cool because it was about Vancouver. As a Pacific Northwest person, I appreciated that. Beautiful reading rooms, just amazing. Amazing poetry books, Dickinson, Robert Burns, Elizabeth Barrett Browning just gorgeous these folios this was a midsummer night's dream shakespeare from the 1600s i could not believe it gorgeous illuminated medieval letters and other pages oh my goodness these are some of my favorite things to look at beatrix potter books for all the cottage core girls a special edition of rolled doll the witches it was so fun just looking through all of these cases and they will take books out for you if you ask. I was a little afraid to ask because I was just in awe of all of these books, but I'm sure they're nice about it. Peter Pan, this book just seemed very Viking and Norse. 
second edition of Jane Eyre and first American edition of Wuthering Heights. I love that book. I spent a good amount of time here just appreciating all of the pretty books. I absolutely recommend this place. Then we headed out to dinner at Nomad Library. If you've ever wanted to eat surrounded by books, this is the restaurant for you. It is in the Nomad Hotel, which is, in a, which is a hotel within a hotel in the Park MGM. And we just loved it here. Check out this spiral staircase. I wanted to take pictures on it, but it was roped off, sadly. And I did ask the waiter, all of these books are real and can you guess how many books are on these shelves let me know in the comments how many you think there are i'll put the answer in the description we started with bread these gruyere popovers were delicious i got the filet mignon it was wonderful medium rare did the brussels sprouts and the ridiculous mac and cheese their words and it had lobster in it it truly was decadent and ridiculous loved that here's another look at the pretty books and then my friend got the carbonara which looked fabulous as well for dessert we got their cookies and cream creme brulee with homemade oreos and vanilla ice cream and we also tried the baked alaska because they light it on fire table side which is kind of wild to see flames in a library but it was a beautiful presentation and it was so delicious and it's always fun to get the table side desserts and see them prepare and this one you can't go wrong with the baked Alaska it's always fun to take a look at and you can see it starting to soften the edges starting to crisp perfectly and here's a look at the inside and another look at the creme brulee which was fabulous those Oreos were so good and they also brought us complimentary cotton candy which was a fun touch and it was sparkly it had glitter inside of it so the fabulous end to a fabulous meal. We absolutely loved the Nomad Library. To end the night, we saw Dita Von Teese's show. She has a residency at the Horseshoe, and I absolutely loved this show. It is in the Old Bally's Hotel, which is now the Horseshoe, and the show has a lot of nods to the original Bally's Showgirls show. She uses some costumes from that original Vegas show. It's so glitzy, it's so glamorous. It was so much fun. We had excellent seats. We were so close to the stage. She's such a great performer. She allows all of her dances to shine. And of course, I love all of the costumes, all of the jewelry, all of the accessories. Here I am just absolutely geeking out. It was a great time. I absolutely loved this show. If you can see it, go see it. Then we headed over to the Bellagio the next day and checked out their gardens. It had a very bookish fairy tale theme going on right now. They switch out the theme every so often. This has probably been one of my favorites. They're always beautiful, but there was something special about this one. It made the book girl in me happy and it always smells so good in here. So very cute fairy tale tea party look. Then we headed over to Mayfair Supper Club for dinner, and it was a Sunday, so they did a Sunday jazz. So a little laid back, really nice music. You can see the fountains of the Bellagio going off in the background. The food here is really good, and the atmosphere is great. It'll definitely have you feeling like a main character. Here's a look. I went to this place a couple years back as well, and I was closer to the window. So here's a better look at what the fountains look like through the windows it's absolutely magical the music is always good the food is fun and we saw brad garrett when we were there so that was kind of exciting so after we had dinner at the mayfair we headed back to resorts world and ended up going to gatsby's cocktail lounge listen a bar based on a famous book you know i'm going and this place was so pretty i loved the lights at the top and just the atmosphere was really luxe feeling and we had to get a couple drinks here, see what the rage at Gatsby's was all about. I got the electric porn star, this was really good. Then the next day we headed to the Arts District in Vegas and got brunch at the Pepper Club. We started with the spicy tuna cakes, those were delicious. I got the stuffed French toast, amazing. 
and we also got some truffle parmesan fries then we headed to the writer's block this is a bookshop in the arts district check out that printing press out front the front of this shop has a little coffee stand the cash registers look like a bird cage and in fact inside this shop there is an artificial bird sanctuary so there's bird art hanging up all around this shop and they have lamp posts so it looks like you're entering narnia when you come in here this is the most eclectic fun big bookstore i've been in in a while i absolutely loved looking through all of these shelves and it's kind of circular in design so you can just wander through the aisles get lost in all of the books and they had an excellent selection i was picking up books left and right i had to rein myself in because of finding so many good ones but I still had to get home so you have to limit yourself when you're working with luggage and I like that the bookshelves were black I think it added to the magical mysterious vibe look at all the fun birds I just love it their kids section had it's a small world vibes the art installations around here were so cute I spy a sloth they had a bunny in the bookshop that was so sweet to see really cute little office i loved the decorations in here look at that gorgeous lamp again the bird theme persists i just love it and yeah we couldn't stop looking at all of these amazing books oh tiktok books spotted but yes i picked this one up i've been wanting to read this it's been on my list for a hot minute more of the cute little birds and i think some of these birds were for sale actually so that's kind of fun if you if you want to pick up a bird from the bird sanctuary you probably can you had other cute little items too like little puzzles i picked up a sticker book for my reading journal so after that we headed to the mob museum and hit up their underground bar it's a speakeasy style bar in the basement of the mob museum and i ordered their old-fashioned because the liquor comes in a book it's a bootlegger's dream and this was actually a really great old-fashioned very smooth i also ordered their giggle water that was a little more fruity and very pretty so that's it for my las vegas bookish travel i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that was inspiring. Let me know what do you want to do the next time you're in Vegas. Do you have any other bookish stops that you like to stop at when you're in there? Or what else is on your bookish travel bucket list? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. So make sure to leave a comment. And as always, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow along. Let's be book buddies. I will see you next time. Bye.